sabe nada. Please. Please. No. This is what I've already done. You've already seen me do it. I'm the impossible girl. And this is why. Whatever you're thinking of doing, don't. If I step in there, what happens? The Time Winds will tear you into a million pieces. A million versions of you living and dying all over time and space. Like echoes. But the echoes could save the Doctor, right? But they won't be you. The real you will die. They'll just be copies. But they'll be real enough to save him. It's like my mum said. The souffle isn't the souffle. The souffle is the recipe. It's the only way to save him, isn't it? The stars are going up. A Jenny and Straps are dead. There must be something we can do. Well, how about that? I'm souffle girl after all. No. Please. If this works, get out of here as fast as you can. And spare me a thought now and then. No. No. In fact, you know what? Run. Run, you clever boy. And remember me. places I'm born I live I die and always there's the doctor always I'm running to save the doctor again and again and again and he hardly ever hears me but I've always been there doctor yes what is it what do you want right from the very beginning sorry but you're about to make a very big mistake. Don't steal that one, steal this one. The navigation system's knackered, but you'll have much more fun. Right from the day he started running. Run, you clever boy. And remember me. It was an unprovoked and violent attack, but that's no excuse. We are all restored, that's all that matters. We are not all restored. You can't go in there. It's your own time stream, for God's sake. I have to get her back. Of course, but not like this. But how? Is she still alive? It killed Dr. Simeon. Clara's got one advantage over the great intelligence. Which is? Me. Doctor, please listen to me. At least hear me. Now. If I don't come back, and I might not. Doctor! Go to the TARDIS. The fast return protocol should be on. She'll take... Oh. Goodness, uh, what a lot to take in in that clip, that extraordinary uh, clip there. Uh, the name of the Doctor. This was the first of a trilogy of of the Doctor stories, and uh, this concluded the uh, the seventh series of uh, the new Doctor Who series. Um, it was extraordinary seeing all those past Doctors in that clip, wasn't it? Clara has obviously uh, jumped into the Doctor's time stream and has been splintered. Um, but from that revelation there, it possibly makes Clara the most important companion in the history of Doctor Who, because this ties up the whole sort of uh, thread of the impossible girl, which had been started back, um, I thinking possibly back to, uh, was it Asylum of the Daleks that Clara first appeared? Um, so it's been going on right through um, this season. Um, lovely to see the Pater Noster gang there. We saw Drax and uh, Madame Vastra and Jenny. And of course, wonderful to have Alex Kingston back in this one. Um, a river song. I remember a very funny scene, I think, around a seance table uh, with, uh, I don't know if it was with Clara and uh, River Song. I can't remember the details, but I just remember it being very funny. 
Um, but this was quite a, an emotional um, build up to the end of the season, uh, wasn't it? And we discover that um, Clara's purpose is to uh, save the Doctor throughout uh, all his lives. And wasn't it wonderful seeing dear Billy in that clip? Um, it's, who, who are you? What do you want? <laughs> and of course, Clara was the reason why he stole an old Type 40 TARDIS and uh, ended up having all the adventures that he has had. I can't remember the conclusion to this story in terms of the impossible girl Clara thread. I have a feeling perhaps the Doctor goes into the timeline and rescues her, so maybe it resolves itself. I'd have to watch the whole program again. Um, but one thing that does stick in my mind is the appearance of um, the War Doctor. I think he appeared at the end of this one. Uh, Dear John Hurt, which of course was to pave the way for the 50th anniversary 